Our other big story, police say the only thing a shooting victim did to set off the shooters was to slap their car because they were getting too close to him, and that victim paid with his life. Just in the past few hours, police arrested these two, they tell us. One of them is just 19 years old. News 6's Amanda Castro is live at the Orange County Jail where these guys are locked up tonight. Amanda. That's right, Eric. These guys are not walking out of jail anytime soon. Police saying they were so angry and they were looking to start a fight with anybody that a random encounter at a gas station set them off and then it turned deadly. Orlando police arrested two suspects Saturday in what could be the city's first homicide of the new year. Investigators say 20-year-old Randall Burton and 19-year-old Dante Thomas beat up and then killed the victim, 36-year-old Yonel Muse. The incident started Friday morning around 3 o'clock at this 7-Eleven on Silver Star Road. Police say Burton and Thomas were trying to back their car into a parking spot at the store, and they almost hit Muse. The victim slapped the car to let them know he was there, and detectives say that made the suspects angry, adding Burton was already upset because he was kicked out of a downtown club for fighting, and police say he was looking to pick a fight with anybody. OPD tells News 6 Burton and Thomas followed Muse to a nearby intersection and then started beating him. And that's when detectives say Burton pulled out a gun and shot the victim. Police found Muse and he was taken to the hospital where he later died. Both Burton and Thomas are charged with first degree murder and robbery with a firearm. They uh, just checked with the jail. They have no bond amount posted, but they are expected to go before a judge sometime tomorrow. Eric? It makes you wonder why, Amanda. Did these guys know each other? No, Eric, and I would say that's what makes this so tragic. The police are saying that neither Burton or Thomas knew the victim. They hadn't even met prior to that incident at the 7 Eleven. The family saying on social media tonight that they're mourning the loss of the victim and that they're thankful that justice has been served. Eric. And now we see what happens in the courts, Amanda. Thank you.